All right, Daddy Jack's going to the blues. So uh, back in 84, uh, Heinz Prost owned two restaurants, the Chimney Restaurant in Dallas and the, the Belvedere Restaurant. And, uh, you know, I, I was working back with Chef of the Fairmont Hotel at the time. And uh, I came back uh, from my honeymoon, actually. And the day, the night I got back, before I was due to go back to work, he called me up and said, hey, can you meet me? And he made me a partnership agreement uh, for the Belvedere Restaurant, a Swiss Austrian restaurant. And uh, that was my first lesson, get everything in writing. 25% of the business a year and a half later, I uh, got burned. So, hey, my bad, you know, shame, you know, but that's a valuable lesson I learned. Uh, but uh, this waitress there, Norma Cornelli from uh, Italy, showed me this recipe. It's a simple recipe, fall recipe. And uh, we're doing over here, Lech Holmes. Uh, pressure cooker. So I'm going to make sure how fast you do it at home and it permeates the whole kitchen. I, you know, real fall or winter afternoon and put the football on, put some music on, you know, whatever is your pastime, you know, read and you got this thing is slow cooking. It's just a fantastic recipe. So uh, I'm going to rinse out my potatoes here. Very important always. You never know that uh, truck dust, diesel dust, they store these potatoes. So, uh, what I do is I have a, I got the bone-in chicken, okay, and I got the breast. So usually split when you do it, cut through the breast, and I have a back. You know, just as for the flavor of this, I'll, I'll, I'll use it. Why not? You know, it'll add the flavor, and you know what? That's some of the best uh, meat is right off that tailbone, and uh, so. What you do is uh, we'll layer, just layer all these in. Potato. Now, uh, I learned this the other day on the internet. You know, usually I cut the ends off. This guy showed me, this guy had four million, four million views on how to peel an onion. I said, what the heck? So, uh, he cut. And I, I loved it because I never seen this before. No waste. So you save those for your stock. Throw them in the freezer, and all your peelings, you know, whatever, whatever you got. But uh, anyway, I kind of like this this method. And uh, so we'll do that, and we'll do another one. So yeah, you as you guide, so you're not really cutting the knife. You're really twisting the onion. Learn something every day. I've been cutting onions for 40 years. And I learned something. But uh, pretty cool how he explained it. Like he took the this is the dent, the more tighter end, you know, where the where this uh, this this uh, this piece, the hair piece, was. So, uh, you know, he just showed when he was, when he dices, you keep that end, that holds it all together. So, okay. But, you know, we really, I really want rings uh, uh, for this recipe. So, uh, same with a white. Everything in rings. Even the, uh, I cut into this pepper, but still. And, uh, so you don't waste anything. See that little piece there? Throw that in the pot. Well, this is a you know, real rustic. I'm gonna cut a few of, uh, So then we'll uh, <coughs> put some of that in, we'll put our chicken right in the middle, okay, add a little bit more onion, a 
potato. This makes like the best soup, even at like the next day. So good. Onion. Potato. Pepper. Now what we're gonna use? Use that piece in there. This piece here. Okay, so then I always keep a bleach cloth handy here. Uh, white wine is like a cup, a cup of white wine. Some garlic, a lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. Okay, uh, nice salt and pepper, good amount. Okay, but Len, we'll be right back. Thank Jack's going with the blues. Alright, so we got a little bit of our nice chicken stock. Use, a, use like half this and half water. We're going to save that for some other recipe. And just uh, barely, barely bring it up. Right there, okay. So we got concentrated flavor. Let's go go on to get. Let's walk on over to the Alec Holmes. Alec Holmes uh, steamer pot. You want to get on the other side, Glenn? Yeah. Well, there you go, B. You want to take this? All right. So. I got her all warmed up, I got her all fired up, plugged in. So, I like Holmes steamer pot, I call it homie. <laughs> What's up, homie? So, remember how we had to do this, Glenn? Yeah, you gotta line that eye rope up. Yeah, with a, with a, open, close, okay? So easy now, if I can remember this. So, we'll call it stew and then uh, the time I think we'll give it like four would let's try it 45 minutes and it blanks until it's ready to roll and then it uh, starts itself times itself I'll let you know when it's ready might even call you for dinner hey but anyway you know we're doing a we're doing a giveaway with a leg homes you know what we decided? I'm giving it to my local fire department right down the road here. And we're gonna do a campaign. I don't know if we do a uh, crowd uh, funding or uh, what do you call that? Like yeah, crowd, yeah. crowd funding, yeah. something like that. Or, and Elect Holmes is, uh, we're talking in discussion with them about participating. Uh, Daddy Jackson will put a little bit of money into it. And we're gonna see how many of these we can give away. And uh, we'll give you some, a little more information, but Glenn, so we want to see the rest of the kitchen, the dining room. Oh, all right, we can do Come that. Come on out. So this is our family table back here. I call it this, this the office. <laughs> but we put a uh, put a nice tablecloth on it when we got open for business. And uh, this is our bar area. Uh, my partner Cliff uh, got go yet. He did all this stone work. This was all just an empty shell. The floor was here, the bathrooms were here. So the vent hood in the kitchen, the plumbing. And uh, this is Josh. That's going on, everybody. Or Josh Lewis, uh, getting things set up. But uh, yeah, so we built this every step of the way. First we built the bar, then we built the partition here for uh, to separate. You know, you, have a, you gotta have a separation from the bar to the dining room. That's kind of the law. Uh, the glass, etched glass. Um, uh, cathedral glass here. We do, you know, seafood. He did a nice edge glass for us. Uh, these uh, underneath here, these beams. This building was built in 18 1850s, and uh, actually the beams came out of the ceiling, out of the, above. 
uh, the rafters. And our friend uh, Josh Friedman is a big wood, fantastic woodworker, and he, he, he was a boat builder, and now he builds high-end furniture and uh, builds out restaurants for Manhattan, New York City, mansions out in, uh, you know, affluence, uh, uh, that out on uh, uh, the Hamptons and things like that. Right out of here, out of New London. Josh Freeman, he's something else. But uh, all step along the way, so those beams came up, and what they used to do is pull an old ship up to the docks and dismantle the whole ship, and that's where they built all the houses. And uh, so that's, who knows how old that really was. If it was built in the 1850s, that boat could have been 50, 60 years old. All the, uh, the cobblestones, Cliff, uh, Cliff rebuilt the, uh, the old house down there on the, uh, by, right across from the chain, uh, train station. And when he was, they were digging down, the, the, the digging down into the original street, uh, they hit cobblestone, the original cobblestones. And a historian came and said, this, this, these were the original cobblestones when the London was founded. And he said, very likely those cobblestones were the ballast off uh, of the Amist Amistad. Amistad was parked right across the street. So uh, they're all worn smooth. Can you imagine that? All yeah. worn smooth by ho horse and buggy and, and foot, you know, foot traffic. Uh, just incredible. Uh, this is it. Uh, there's our local, local beer selections. Outer Lights, Thimble Island. Uh, uh, they're all like local, you know, within you know, 15, 20 minutes here. A couple of them from New Haven, but mostly like Beard Brewery, Outer Lights, uh, Revival. They're all all local. Uh, I don't know if you can see here. This is a portrait. It's a painting that Michael Perry, a friend of mine and a local artist. That's an actual painting, not a photograph of a, a Bell and Howell cameras. He did he did a series of six of these for a, a gallery opening. So. Uh, he, 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 he hung it on a wall for us, really appreciate it. And uh, this is our dining room. This is, uh, this is where we set up the, uh, got a Hammond B3, Lonnie Get. Hey, what's up, Metal? What's happening, brother? Uh, Hammond B3, he leaves here. He plays every Wednesday night. He plays, you know, sometimes on the weekends. Lonnie Gasparini, a tremendous uh, uh, player. And uh, so then, we, you know, we had to make room for that and kind of, there's a two booths right here. We pull them out when we have bands, have bands every Friday, Saturday night. And uh, this is our dining room. Um, this is a nice painting from Ted Gennard, uh, another great local artist. This is a map, an original map on, uh, on leather, uh, a friend, a friend of mine was moving and it was, he, he was handed down to his family. And it's an original map with all, it doesn't even really have any developments. All, the, all along the, uh, pier, the pier, there's all kinds of docks where they used to pull up all the ships. And, uh, and the streets were laid out before really there's any kind of development. And uh, there's a lobster that uh, George and Kathy Zografis some great friends of mine up on, uh, they're up on the Cape, but now they're, he's, uh, he's kind of retired, he's in the Dunkin' Donuts business. They sent this back from Greece, they brought this back from Greece for me. Because uh, down in Texas, more than here, I was known for lobsters. And uh, so, um, this was a painting that my uh, Aunt Bev, uh, Aunt Bev may, uh, drew, uh, he, uh, she and my uncle would all go up to uh, uh, Rockport, uh, you know, uh, along the coast in, uh, in Mass and, uh, and uh, Rockport, uh, uh, Essex, uh, Gloucester. Uh, my father, you know, my, my uh, Uncle Dave was my father's cousin. And they all, all had a family place up there in, uh, near Gloucester called uh, uh, Louis Head. Uh, it was where the river comes into Gloucester. So interesting thing here. My cousin gave me this, but he, he drew this, his first, his first pen and ink. So he gave me this, and his mom's painting was on the other side. You know, so it's a, a real, 
real piece of uh, memorabilia for me, a real prized possession. And uh, so we're gonna leave that there. I have to fix that later. <laughs> And then, one last, last but not least, this is something right here that Visa called me one time in Dallas and said, hey, we're doing a campaign. Would you agree not to take American Express for two years? Uh, you're one of three people we're, 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 uh, we're looking at. And if you do, you, you can't, you'd have to sign an agreement not to take American Express for two years. I said, great, because I threw them out last year. <laughs> Uh, they were just killing us with the uh, fees, and then it was, uh, so anyway, we did it, and they said, well, if you could give us a break on the catering for the crew, I said, well, first they told me, they're giving me a, a full page in a Wall Street Journal, uh, a full page in USA Today, the day after the Super Bowl, and three full pages in the Dallas Morning News, some radio advertisement, I said, really? I said, if you give me, if you give it to me, catering's on the house. So, so <laughs> that, sealed, that sealed the deal, and that really is what, uh, in Dallas, is what put us on the put us on the map. But this is the view back in the kitchen. We got the view of the ovens. Everybody working. We got an open kitchen, so we got a beautiful spot. We're blessed, uh, blessed to have it. Don't have a walk-in refrigerator. We got all two-door reach-in refrigerators. Two out front. One back in the storage room, stand-up freezer. So we had to buy. We had to buy uh, daily. We get we get uh, fish and uh, deliveries. Pro some produce coming daily. I make a trip to Restaurant Depot once a week. We get a few of the heavier grocery items delivered. But that's about it. Hey, so we'll wait. We'll wait for Norma Cornelli's uh, Italian chicken stew. And uh, we've probably got about another 35 minutes left. Glenn Peltier on camera. Can't thank you enough and uh uh oh. Uh oh. Uh where the heck is Paula? She, I don't right. think it's ready yet, but she'll right. be here. <laughs> Let's give it a shot here now. Let's go for it. Alright, we're gonna shut her down. Elk Holmes, Elk Holmes, Elect Holmes. I, I honestly we had we I opened it up to check how it was looking. We just gave it a few more minutes. So we didn't, usually you gotta release the pressure right here. And uh, there we go. That's a beauty right there. Chicken on the bone. That's my piece right there. <laughs> Few those potatoes. You know, I I don't even think with this. I mean, with a with a regular pot where you got evaporation, but I think with this with steamer pot, it's the first time I've done this dish in a steamer pot. I'd go less, not even bring it up to the covering. Of course, we're not going to forget the. Uh, you can do this with anything pork, piece of chuck roast, you name it. Alright, let's give it a taste. You can always adjust the seasoning before you. But I like that chicken. I, I love boiled chicken. Mm. All right. Like I said, you can more more of a concentrated flavor, less stock, or less water you put in, but it's still plenty of flavor. Delicious fall wintertime dish, you know, put 
beauty about these, you don't heat up. You don't heat up your kitchen, so you can almost do it in the summertime. You know, that's what's beauty. The beauty about these pressure cookers. Alec Holmes, we had a special going until uh, last month, the 25th. We're gonna see if they'll do another promo for the holiday season. And also, you know, our, you know, we're doing a special promo for firefighters. We want to put one of these in as many firehouses as we can around the United States. And uh, that's, that's going to be our goal, you know, because uh, firefighters are our heroes. And they cook, they got to cook fast. They never know when the next call is going to come. And so this is what we're trying to do. Dave Jack's good with the blues. Glenn Pelty on camera. Dave Jack's here, uh, downtown, beautiful downtown to London. 181 Bank Street, deep water port. We got some big ships coming in. Coast Guard, uh, Coast Guard uh, ships. Uh, we got uh, when it had a bad storm. We had uh, Coast Guard cutters. Some Navy ships came in here. Docked across uh, at uh, EB and uh, and uh, Groton boat yard and all that. So beautiful place to visit. Amtrak ferry boats coming in. Come visit. Peace.